Just stay that way, please. When we get a good date, did she tell you I want to know if you could come up and help me take him outdoors? Yeah. Because he hasn't been outdoors in a long, long time except in that enclosure out there. I'd like to have him out on the ground. For... But the only thing is, when he's outdoors, it's almost like the wild instincts really come forward in him a lot. He gets really hyper and he gets twitchy and he wants to take off and go. And he's hard to catch, really, when he's on full flight. But he's, his natural instincts kick in because he's not out in the yard that often. Now, he's a challenge. To, that's why we'll have he goes out, he'll have to have a plastic tote close by to throw his butt back yeah, in it. I would assume. Because you really got to chase him down. He'll go like a maniac. He's the one that chased that guy at. And the yard, that stranger walked up and me and Crystal were out there. Crystal was sitting in front of me. And the guy walked up behind Crystal coming toward me. And Grumpy went right over her head, airbound. Dove over her head. Went over the top of her. Never even touched her head. And hit the ground and went after that guy. So, he's, he's very protective. But he went so high up into the air in orbit, he didn't even touch her head when he, when he went over the top of her. And people underestimate what they're capable of. They really do. You know, I find it odd they say snakes don't have feelings or emotions. Really? Then why are they protective? Why do they defend you? Why do they defend each other if they don't have feelings or emotions? Why do they pout when you hurt their feelings? Why do they hide in the corner and bury their head if I raise my voice to them? They don't have feelings, then why do they... How do they get angry if they don't have emotions? These are things people... If they really heard the things they said about them, you sound like a complete idiot. They can't have all these different reactions if they don't have feelings or emotions. I don't have a hat on. I don't have a hat on for you to get on my head. No, I don't. <laughs> You're snorting. You snorted at me. You snorted at me. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I don't have a hat on. I know what he wants. He wants to get in that stuff on my shelves behind me. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going, you big stud muffin, you? Where are you going? Is there any way you can stand up and back up and get his whole length in the video? I just want people to see how big he really is. You're not going to knock that stuff down up there. It's not going to happen. No, -uh. No, you're not. No, you're not. This is the kind of snake you have when you work with him a lot and handle him a lot. I oh, you just stuck your nose in my eyeball. Come here. This is what you get when you work with your snakes. And you're consistent. You do it often. <laughs> He's dying to knock that basket off up there. Look. That's all my mail. I don't want you to dump all my mail on top of my head. Huh? That's so easy to handle a big snake if they're socialized and... They work with you instead of against you. Now, if he was striking at me constantly, this wouldn't be at all possible. You can't work with a snake that's constantly and being defensive and wanting to rip your face off. <laughs> it just doesn't work well. Hi, baby doll. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Love you. Hi, honey. You want to get under bed? Want to get under bed? Wanna go see your friend over there? He's like, nope, I'm gonna burrow under his pillow. He might be looking for Ben. I'm gonna run away. You can stop it, huh? 